In this video, we're going to discuss the principles of the file allocation file system, FAT for short, and this is the link to our presentation. As you can see, I already opened uh, FTK Imager to examine a drive formatted uh, having a FAT partition and uh, we will be able to look uh, inside and see what kind of data structures are present on this drive. So I would like to start by formatting a small 2 gigabyte thumb drive attached to my computer named Kingston G and uh, here I'm going to choose format. Well of course uh, format option um, allows you to wipe off the drive and uh, replace uh, a partition with the new file system. Currently it is being formatted for NTFS, but I'm going to change this. And you can see that my options are here, at least uh, in this file manager version that I have on Windows 10. Uh, I have FAT, which is FAT16, a 16-bit version of file allocation file table system, FAT32, and XFAT uh, and NTFS. So uh, because the drive is relatively small, um, it's thinking that the most optimal version of the uh, file system to use here is FAT16. So I'll choose this default. There's also allocation unit size, which corresponds to the cluster size. So the cluster is uh, a sequence of sectors. And again, this uh, format utility allows me to choose a default allocation size, 16, 32, and 64 kilobyte size uh, clusters. So I'm just going to choose default allocation size and we'll see what it is after we finish formatting. Another default option here is quick format which will uh, remove only directory structure but will leave untouched uh, any files or directories currently present uh, on this drive. So I'm going to uncheck this quick format so that uh, the entire drive will be wiped off and we will see what kind of results we get in uh, all of the unallocated space on the drive after format finishes. So let's get started with this. Give me a warning, I'm going to confirm. Oh, this is a surprising uh, warning that uh, this drive is in use. Um, I'm sure that it's not in use because I just attached it to the computer and the only place I opened this was this file manager. So it's kind of warning against uh, itself, I guess. So I'm just going to say, yes, I want, uh, I still want to format the drive. This process is a little bit uh, slow, but uh, you can see that it's making its progress. So three minutes later, uh, we are getting uh, close to um, have this process complete. And uh, formatting utility, of course, uh, uh, creates a new file system. Uh, and uh, now uh, let's try opening this drive uh, on uh, using access data FTK imager and of course I'm going to use physical drive access and choose this Kingston data traveler uh, that's the name of the drive finish okay so uh, we have something to examine and uh, so far we have uh, the root directory here and uh, uh, system volume information that was uh, placed here by the formatting utility. So file allocation uh, table file system is uh, uh, the original file system uh, found on uh, Microsoft uh, disk operating system and also on Windows. So it goes back to 1977 and it has its own predecessors. Um, and uh, the data structures that are supported by this system uh, are cluster, which is the basic storage unit for files. A directory um, is a list of file names and possibly other subdirectories. 
and file allocation table uh, which contains the cluster status um, of allocated and unallocated clusters and also possibly bad clusters on the system. Right now in the properties panel for this drive we're essentially looking at the physical drive information and uh, this is uh, the physical drive info. So we have the drive serial number, we have the drive model reported by this uh, USB controller, of course the interface is USB and uh, it is a removable drive. Now also uh, this uh, the formatting of this drive is based on the information about cylinders, uh, heads or tracks per cylinder and sectors per track and the sector size is 512 bytes. So sector of course is the smallest uh, unit that the operating system can exchange with this drive. However, for the reasons of efficiency, um, our system has probably allocated a larger size of the basic storage unit on our file system here. Uh, and we're just about to find out how big it is. Uh, so um, we also, on this drive, we have a partition. So the drive is partitioned, therefore, in the unpartitioned space, if I expand that um, here, yes, this is the master boot record uh, sector, which is um, uh, essentially the, uh, the sector um, located um, at the very beginning of the drive. So it has partition table information uh, right about here. And um, uh, this is our partition. So partition information from the partition table tells us that we, we have the starting sector 63. Uh, so this is physical uh, sector uh, um, 63. And uh, just be aware that sectors are counted from zero. So the first sector is sector zero. The next sector is sector one. Uh, so zero, one, two, three. And then as you uh, get to 63, this will be the first uh, sector that belongs to this partition. And in this partition, we have volume boot record uh, sector uh, located in that physical uh, sector uh, 63. And there we have information about the file system present on this drive. And so um, it tells me that the cluster size is 16. Um, kilobyte. So that means that we have um, as many as 32 uh, sectors in our cluster on this sector, uh, on this uh, file system that we just uh, created, that we've just formatted by format utility. There is, uh, uh, there is uh, 61,000 uh, roughly uh, clusters present here. Um, a few of uh, most of them of course are free the volume label is kingston uh, and the serial number of the volume is this and uh, utc times time stamps are false uh, that means that um, because the utc universal time on our greenwich mean time um, is not possible to support on this file system uh, it means that uh, the timestamps that will that will be placed by the operating system as attributes attached to our files and directories will be a local time, basically um, uh, Eastern time zone on my computer right now. And that means that if I take this drive to a different time zone. Um, and uh, uh, attach this uh, USB drive to a computer that's running central time, uh, then um, it, the timestamps will instantly change to the time zone. So this is just the nature of this uh, file system and that's the limitation of it. All right, so we'll examine where this information is actually coming from as we move along. And uh, the basic structures here are the file allocation tables. 
Um, uh, there's a little bit of file system slack. We'll discuss that. Some sectors are reserved and the volume uh, boot record is the very first uh, sector uh, that present on the system, which actually uh, gave us uh, uh, the information uh, about uh, our file system.